hey guys how is it going welcome back to another video all right guys so today is the day uh, where the league invasions uh, will begin and uh, yeah this will be like uh, the first uh, split you know where we do the preparation for the next five days and then on uh, saturdays and sundays we will have the attack day which is split number two uh you know where we will have to attack the other leagues you know in order to get points and uh, go higher on the leaderboard so yeah there is still one minute and 25 seconds left uh but the leaderboard has actually been open for league invasions so invasion leaderboard and uh, yeah th this is uh obviously the last division division x uh, division 10 uh worm so as we all know that they have just copied uh you know the champions in our ranks uh, over here did not bother to work on new names so these these are like uh, the rewards uh that we see over here i don't know why there they, there are no uh mentions of uh the rewards that we saw on the guide you know i don't see those chests you know where we get the legendary drops i think that's for split four and those are extra rewards that we will get there are no orbs as well no orbs no uh you know uh, reforges these uh epic uh, reforges or you know the uh talent rerolls or artifacts these are like split one two and three rewards and split four rewards will be the extra rewards that we will get i think uh you know once uh, we are able to complete or defeat a particular league so let's move back a little bit and uh uh, so let's let's uh, take a look if it's still on. That's the problem with the leagues, you know. It's it's very slow. It's super slow. So yeah, there we go. So zero hour split one first of four. So there we are in the preparation phase. All right, all right, looks good. Uh, so this is this is the base. And uh, these will be the battle logs, offensive and defensive. So we cannot attack anyone right now. Uh, but what we have to do over here is work on our base to make them stronger and uh, make them uh, capable enough to uh, survive an attack from the opponent. Right. And there is an option to ready our base as well but eventually it's not at this point it's not ready you know so let's work on it a little bit facilities so these are some facilities over here facilities enhance specific classes of your attackers and defenders all right let's upgrade the might facility yeah, 60k coins to upgrade uh, the facility, the might facility. Let's upgrade it again. This will go to level 2 now. I do have a lot of coins on all of my accounts. And plus, our league members have a lot of coins too. So let's use them. Let's get all the facilities to level 5 first. And that would be much better. Alright, let's see the modifiers if we are able to put on any modifiers. From building level 1. Okay. Bring back. That was a facility, the might facility. Let's upgrade the agility facility. So this will be, this is basically like, uh, exactly, actually, exactly like Clash of Clans. Uh, you know, there there is a preparation day. There are, you know, like four or five preparation days over there as well. And... Uh, you know, then you got to attack for a couple of days.
so level 11 so the whole timer will be there for three weeks and six days which means almost a month maybe there will be a break in between and then the league invasions will start again so let's also work on these uh, for outposts let's put on some heroes over here assign heroes to deck and let officers choose three of them as defenders okay This is the first outpost. So I, I, I think as we level it up, you know, we will be able to put on uh, some more, uh, you know, like uh, gold characters and then legendary characters. Leading attack, face defenders and outposts become a target for other leagues. Yep, that's right. Let's upgrade this first. There will be tier one modifiers, three, four, level four. Then level five. This is the first outpost, uh, and you know what? I think we also need to work on a facility. So I did upgrade these two to level five. Let's upgrade the meta human one too. So there are five facilities, I think, uh, considering uh, the class. So agility, might, arcane, tech. Oh, I think four. And very human. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The bonus health and bonus attack has definitely increased. This is the arcane one. It may be uh, it may be a bit confusing for uh, you know, most of the players, beginner especially. Uh, but you know, if if you have played Clash of Clans before, then this should not be that difficult for you. Uh, you know, just make sure that you go through the guide. There will be a guide. I'll I'll put the link to that guide right away down in the description. Just click on that link, and there is all the necessary information available over there. I did upgrade. Now I think I don't might not have enough coins to upgrade this. Maybe just a couple of levels over here on uh, the facility. And then I think, uh, you know, the outposts will be equally important because those were the, uh, those are the uh, places where we will you know, those are the places where we will, those are the defenders of our leagues. It's equally important to put in some characters as well as upgrade them. Okay, let me just check if uh, there are any other means of upgrading the outposts. Or we just need to put in the coins. I think all we need over here is coins. Coins will be very relevant over here. So let's take a look at outpost number four. So I think the first outpost will have silvers, silvers, golds, and legendaries maybe. So let's check this one. Let's go to the deck. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to put over here is Collector of Old Superman, definitely. Uh, okay, let's see what else we can put. Brainiac, because uh, the reason why I'm putting these two characters is because they are 
built to take damage so they won't die that easy plus dark side yes a good option Oh, okay, you have already assigned the maximum of permitted heroes to deck. They could not be more than 10% of the maximum number of heroes per outpost. Okay. Well, it will take some time to completely understand. How, uh, you know, these outposts and facilities will work. Let me just give it another try. It's a level one outpost. Fourth one. I did put on Dr. Fate over here. Let me just check. He's still there. Added by Death Boy. Yep, there he is. So, one, uh, I think, one character per outpost is what we can add. Okay, so I have added Dr. Fate on the first outpost and I have added Elector of Worlds Superman on this one. There it is. And that is the threat outpost, the fourth outpost threat. Let's take a look at this one. So I think let's try put in Brainiac in there. Yep, no, can't do that. The two heroes are in this one. This is one. And we need to put uh, the team over here. We need to build a team over there by adding characters in the outposts. There it is. That's a first character. So I think the other league members would also have to add they are heroes over here and uh, then we can select out of those heroes which one should defend which one should be there to defend uh, these particular towers let me check this over here let's add it actually let's add the defenders there it is the first one So this won't be that easy to understand, obviously, right away. Uh, you know, when we play a few more uh, seasons, you know, that may be, you know, helpful to understand how exactly this will work out. But the idea is pretty simple, you know. This is the second outpost and I've added Brainiac over there. And there it goes. Seven star Brainiac. Not a bad option if you want to defend, you want to take damage. Let's do the same with the third one. I think I may have to let uh, League members know that we need to upgrade these outposts first you know and then maybe upgrade 
the facilities. All right, dark side. Yeah, maybe we could add some teams as well in the future, like the Batman Ninja team, maybe the Justice League team or something like that. Not so much like the Justice League team. But yeah, I, I have used most of my coins to upgrade the facilities. Okay, so this is like the preparation phase. This will go on, you know, it will take uh, uh, some time, like at least two to three days before we actually, you know, complete the entire setup. You know, so it, it's definitely going to take time, obviously. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything else, I've put down, I, I'll just put, put the link to the guide, you know, which uh, we have received from the game developers uh, when, when the update was out. So do go through it. Uh, it will make you, uh, it will give you a clear idea about how the, you know, league invasions will go. So just need to prepare your league in order to, you know, fight into the battle with other leagues, you know, by Saturday and Sunday. Those were the two days we will attack. Those were the attack days. And the first five days, Monday to Friday, will be the preparation day. And that's what we are doing. We are trying to get some coins and we're trying to upgrade the facilities and we're trying to put in some characters in there to defend, um, you know. There are different facilities for Arcane, Might, Agility, Metahuman and Tech. And then we got four towers as well, uh, which will help, which will be the defenders, you know. Outposts, which will be the defenders. So that's the general idea about uh, League Invasions, all right? So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. I'll just go ahead and work a little bit on this. I don't want to extend this video to a point where you guys start getting bored. So yeah, I guess that's it for the video, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.